Welcome back to Appliance Educator. Today we're going to look at the Forno fridge. Before you might have seen me talk about things to look for when you're purchasing a fridge. In this video, we're going to talk about this specific brand of fridge, the Forno. So this one is the Forno Alta Qualita. Alta Qualita in Italian means literally higher quality. And Forno, if you're curious, in Italian means oven. So yes, they started out doing ovens, uh, Forno, and now they make refrigerators as well as other appliances. So as you can tell, this is a pretty classic looking fridge. You have your stainless steel handles on the drawers. There's a French door for the refrigerator and you have two drawers for the freezer. Now the top drawer, it's really neat. There's a ton of space in here and it actually comes with an ice maker built in to the drawer itself. The space capacity of the freezer is a little over seven cubic feet. Now the bottom freezer has actually two drawers in it. Again, a lot of space. Some people prefer to have a full French door. I personally really like the drawer freezer options. I like to have my fridge, because I'm in my fridge more often than my freezer. So I like to have this part up top. Now getting into the fridge itself. The fridge, this is a pretty nice size fridge. It's it's not too big, not too small. However, it has a ton of inner capacity. So the inside of the fridge has 12 cubic feet, a little over 12 cubic feet. The freezer had a little over seven, feet, seven cubic feet of space. The ice maker itself has about four cubic feet of space. So you'll be able to have a ton of ice in there that you can throw in chests for the summer. If you have like ice chests for drinks, if you have a party, barbecue, what have you. Now on the fridge, you can tell the handles are very easy to clean as the front. It's a very classic look. Um, the hinges itself on the door are really nice. So as you can tell, we eat well here. Um, this fridge has kept our beer incredibly cold all year long. Um, as you can tell on the inside of the door, we have our sensors here, our display, basically showing the temperature of the fridge, the freezer, the mode it's on. This is fantastic. Uh, one thing, some fridge manufacturers will have that display on the front of the fridge. Aesthetically, some people like that, some people don't. The only drawback to this one is it, it's, well, first, the pro, it's a very clean look. Um, a drawback is you do have to open the door to engage with the sensor, but that is not uncommon. A lot of fridges have that and freezers. So just keep that in mind that if you're changing their settings here, you wanna make it really fast. Because the more you have your fridge door open, like I am right now, you're gonna be losing all that cold air and it's gonna have to work harder to maintain that. But the space inside this, I mean, you have these, the doors have a ton of space as well as the shelves, which you can move around and your crispers for your veggies and fruit. The inside capacity of this fridge is fantastic for the size. Uh, some competitors of Forno have a similar size refrigerator. However, the inner capacity isn't nearly as much as this one. Cool, so a couple really neat features on this. Um, this fridge is really good as far as considering the environment and the impact it has on it. The refrigerant that it uses to cool is R600, which is actually really good for the environment. Um, doesn't damage the ozone compared to older refrigerants, refrigerants that are used. So that's something that's really neat about this fridge. Um, one of the internal mechanisms within this is an inverter compressor. Um, the condenser as well is at the bottom of the fridge. Um, I think that helps allow it have as much space throughout it. Um, all in all, this refrigerator is really nice. Um, it's a very clean look. Um, I mean, high quality is in the name, you know, Alta Qualita. But also the internal mechanism here, the doors, the space. I like this fridge a lot. Um, there's not much more I could see wanting in this fridge. It's, again, my opinion, but it's kind of more on the side of a minimalist approach as far as not having you know, glass here, all the bells and whistles, which we will get into some refrigerators that have that as well, um, as well as the external ice maker. So ice maker is internal. Um, some people prefer to have an external ice maker on the door itself. Some people prefer to have an internal one. For me, this refrigerator is really nice. It's internal, you don't see it all the time, and it takes up less space in your refrigerator. When you have an ice maker built in, you will lose some space for the mechanism of that. Um, so this refrigerator is a little bit on the higher end of cost. It is really nice. I would say with this fridge, you get what you pay for. It is really nice. Um, the temperature has been consistent. We've had no issues with it. We've had it for about a year. Um, 
really, as you can see, we have all of our snacks, you know, lunch, first break, you know, dessert inside. So uh, that I can attest to, the coolness of this fridge. Um, it's really convenient, and I really have nothing negative to say about it. The, the fact that Forno has gone above and beyond in trying to consider their impact on the environment is something that I really like about it. That's something I really enjoy in companies when they try to find ways to improve their product as well as think about the environment and their impact on it. So all in all, the Forno is a really good refrigerator. If it's within your budget, I'd say go for it. Thanks again for watching. If you liked today's video, leave a like. Uh, if you have any experience with the Forno brand in particular, or even this refrigerator itself, we'd love to hear about it. So leave a comment down below. And also, please let us know what you want to see next. We have a lot of videos in the pipeline, but we're always eager to hear what you want to see. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned.